Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So you might be asking how to get more widgets or more buttons in this control center. So this is a control center. Whenever you swipe right from the top corner of your screen to the bottom, you get this control center where you can just tweak your vol volume, your display and all of that. You can uh, just close that orientation lock. Um, so you can't set it on portrait or landscape or it will stay on portrait but you can also add buttons in here such as the camera so this is basically a shortcut to go very quickly to your camera to your calculator and all of that but how to add more buttons in there well basically it's very simple if you just go to settings and you should be uh, you scroll down and you are here in control center you click on it or you tap on it rather and now you have all those controls that are included already on your control center such as a torch but also the timer calculator and camera well you can remove them obviously by hitting this red circle uh, you can um, distribute them like uh, make the timer go first like now and the torch second like you see here but you can al also add more controls into there uh, like maybe the low power mode so whenever your battery is like dying you can just go and tap here and hit low power mode continue now my battery is turned into a yellow battery and that means that our iphone is like consuming as low battery as possible i don't want that for the moment so i'll just uh, uh, turn that off but you can also add something else like going to your notes so now if i uh, scroll down from the right corner right upper corner of my screen to the bottom i get this control center and i can can add a quit note right out of there so let's go back and go to maybe we need to add a stopwatch into there maybe we want to add music recognition uh, dark mode so now you can just by tapping on it your iPhone turn into dark mode easily but that's not something I, I rather like to do it right from here uh, you go and hit dark mode right from here and then turn it into a dark mode so we don't want that that's a waste of space so let's go ahead and turn it off remove um, maybe we want to add an alarm that's something that most of us use on a daily basis so we want to add that and now every time you just want to use your alarm the only thing you do is basically swipe from the right upper corner of your screen to down and hit on the shortcut and it brings you to your alarm center as you see today I set up my alarm at 8 10 a.m. so yeah, that's maybe an information for you. And yeah, basically that's it. It's very easy. Um, like I said, you go to settings, you scroll down to control center, and right from here, you control everything that's inside this control center area. Uh, obviously, you can turn this off like the Wi-Fi and mobile data thing. Uh, you can expand it by tap and holding on it like this and now you get more things uh, such as uh, your personal hotspot um, maybe you want to give like your friend or family member more internet juice well you can do that by just turn this one on uh, airdrop maybe you want to have like a picture be sent to you uh, you can turn it off or on if you have it on and you receive it from everyone like everyone can send, send you a bunch of stuff so uh, you can set it on contacts only, but if it's not working for any reason, I'm going on a tangent in here, just click on it and uh, select everyone. That way you can receive uh, that picture from a stranger if you want to. <laughs> that sounds weird, but hey, uh, yeah, and that's basically it. And that's the control center in a nutshell. I hope you've got something out of this video. Give it a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Subscribe to this channel. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about the control center, obviously leave them in the comment section below. Um, watch one of my recent videos right here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.